For me, it was very far-fetched to think um, I'd get to fly on the space shuttle because I lived in India in a very small town and um, forget about space, I didn't even know if my folks were going to let me go to the engineering college. I think I was very lucky um, that we lived in a town which is a very small town and one of a handful of towns at that time which had flying clubs and we would see these small pushback airplanes. We'd ask my dad if we could get a ride in one of these planes and he did take us to the flying club and get us a ride. In general, um, during my life, I would say I've been inspired by explorers. It's easy for me to be motivated uh, and inspired by seeing somebody who just goes all out to do something. When I read about these people, I think the one thing that just stands out is their perseverance. In how they carried out what they went to carry out. I do uh, think and imagine different phases of it, uh, sitting on the launch pad and the 
lift off itself. Um, it's the whole thing just seems very exciting. It's uh, you know the ultimate adventure that you can think of. Uh, is very gratifying and humbling and it really is uh, incredible to see that uh, there are all these countries that are participating in this research and basically they have one goal which is to better understand these processes and then be able to use the benefits that come out of them. These processes may be in different areas be it earth sciences, physical sciences or life sciences, all of the experiments on this flight help us understand these processes better. And any time we understand the processes better, we are better off uh, as a species and as a result as a planet. When I was very young, I knew of this saying, it's by uh, the philosopher Seneca, and it said, I was not born for one corner. The whole universe is my native land. And I didn't write it, but I think I very well could have. Uh, I truly feel that way. Uh, one day I was in the flight deck uh, looking from the overhead windows outside and uh, it was starting to get dim outside so you start to see your own reflection and there is the earth limb outside you can still see the earth surface and the dark sky overhead and I could then see my reflection in the window and in the retina of my eye the whole earth and the sky could be seen reflected so I called all the crew members one by one and they saw it and everybody said Oh, wow.